hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and y'all it's been a minute since we did a skincare review video and i can keep it a buck with you after several months of being on my big one with my skincare your girl has fallen off and i'm super excited to start using a new product by cetaphil the gentle exfoliating cleanser um y'all i highly would advise you to read the directions on the back um and you'll see why <laughs> what drew me to this product was that it has the succinic acid as well as the mandelic acid because my skin loves these acids okay so let's get on into it but before we get started y'all if you have not tried these wrist cuffs you can find them on amazon as well as i believe la beautyologist was the first person to drop them it helps to reduce the water so a couple of breakouts I've had recently um, left me with a couple of dark spots. They're not too bad and I definitely know how to correct them. But I was really excited to add an exfoliant to my routine. Always started with clean hands, okay? We don't want no bum bumps, okay? <laughs> As I pumped out the product, it came out way faster than I anticipated. I don't know what I thought the consistency was going to be like, y'all, but it's so smooth. It's a gel-like texture. Um, after I put the product in my hand, I then activated. So some cleansers do kind of require you activate it prior to putting it on your face. It's definitely going to help the products to activate and for them to work the best. I do this with the gentle normal cleanser they have as well. So for the texture, okay, I thought this was going to feel like a beaded style exfoliant. Of course, the words escape me right now, but this is more of like a chemical exfoliant where you don't feel those beads like you would in like a sugar body scrub. It is very, very gentle. It's so gentle that even if you have like cystic acne, it is so gentle you can use it. It's not abrasive at all and it's actually kind of thick. Okay, shorty, shorty got some weight to her. <laughs> it kind of feels like shaving cream. Yes, I think that's the perfect way to describe it. It definitely feels like shaving cream on the face or like a very hydrating lotion. Um, I do follow the guidelines of washing your face for 60 seconds, at least a bare, bare minimum to make sure you're lifting that dirt out of your pores. And this is the moment I realized that I use way too much. <laughs> I was having a Jim Carrey Grinch moment. Listen, my mind is on Christmas. <laughs> so I was rubbing the product in more and more and more, y'all. I actually paused to look at the back of the bottle and it definitely says to use a small amount. And normally, you know what products say that, they don't really mean it but in this instance it really really does mean it <laughs> so let's wash this off y'all my face felt so clean but not stripped like i hate that squeaky stripped feeling of the skin and it does not fit that at all it is definitely hydrating your skin definitely feels softer um i'm really excited to use this product longer to see you know on a on a longer basis how it works so i go into my next skincare routine which is following up with a toner um i do use the pixie glauconic toner i really don't recommend it for those of you who might have super sensitive skin because this is strong um <laughs> it also be aware of what other actives that you might be mixing with it um you definitely don't want to have a reaction because um that happened to me recently but we'll talk about that in a skincare story time later um, i'm following up with the snail mucinex um, i love it love it so much it's very hydrating and lastly i am following this up with the laneige water sleeping mask y'all hands down the best bedtime moisturizer i have ever used in my life it just feels like a buttery watery goodness on the skin so refreshing I forgot to mention I am an oily girl, okay? Um, I lean a little bit combination in the winter, but mostly your girl is very, very oily. Um, I always put a little something on my lips before I go to bed, and this is the results, y'all. So stay tuned for an update in six weeks.